hello beautiful beings. In this video I'm going to talk about the state of power, especially in regards to self-healing, accelerated self-healing and healing. So what is the state of power? The state of power is pure love. But in this video I'm going to talk about a different state of power, a different aspect of the state of power if you want so. It's, for example, when you heal your eyes and when you work on your eyes and you have the tablature with the different sizes of the fonts in front of your eyes and you see that the next smaller font is just getting blurry and you um, override your bad emotion which causes your eyes to be bad with a positive emotion, you're going to see more clear and this is a really good tool so those fonts which you hold in front of your eyes are a good tool to see where you're at with your vibration because um, you can imagine your body as the electrical system and currents moving through your body so your body is almost like electrical interface and if there's some denser energy some trauma some emotional trauma in some body parts luckily there's a catalog which body part tends to store what kind of emotions and relates to what kind of diseases and how you can easily access those denser emotions and heal those diseases, quote unquote. So that's a really, really beautiful thing. So imagine your body like a vehicle, like an intellectual, emotional interface, biological, intellectual, <laughs> electrical interface, if you want so. And as soon as you get this dense emotion out, you will see how well you function. So basically there are two ways. One is to override it with a loving, nice energy. And the other one is to admit to how you feel or to admit to that feeling that caused that very illness or malfunction of a certain body part, for example, your eyes. So for example, when you train your eyes, you have been doing your exercise, your relaxation um, exercises for your eyes. And this goes for every organ, every human body. It works the same way. And also all those dimensions. So you look at something you see blurry and either you think really happy for it and you're override like continually override those emotions and you really start to see those objects clearly or you just allow those feelings you really admit to that feeling that wants to surface and you will see even if you feel worse in that moment your vision will become clearer you have more power and this goes for everything so basically either you are allowing that very feeling that caused it and you will see a direct improvement or you override it with a beautiful love but I would say especially in the context of healing, the overwriting is not always the best. For example, when you have a nice day and there are so many quote-unquote negative energies around you, you can just put yourself in a state of love and it will be amazing. In this case, it's really good to put some special love and nice feelings there. Or you just open yourself up completely and you take in all those energies and you transmute them. That's another way. So it depends on the situations, but um, if it comes to healing, I would rather suggest to dive into that feeling and really feel the way you feel and see how quick your eyes or whatever you're trying to improve improves in that moment by feeling bad. Because it's often said that when you feel good, you have more electrical charge in your body and your organs work better and whatnot. It's really, really true. But not necessarily for something that has been stored there because of trauma, because it wants to be released. And if you don't release this and you over, always overwrite it with positive emotions, but those emotions are not strong enough to completely overwrite it, it might or it tends to be and continue to be an issue or the issue from one body part moves to another body part and gets stored somewhere else in the body till it gets addressed. You can imagine your body as an accumulator of energies and feelings. And every feeling has a tension, like electrical tension, a charge if you want so. And if the, some systems are over or undercharged, they just don't function. To put it in a mechanical electric way if you want so. So, always only putting positive emotions on top of it without dealing with the real core issue is not always working. In some cases, hypnosis and other therapies really work, but they're more like... Um, emergency solution so I would suggest for example if you work on your eyes get a table like a um, paper with different fonts and just work with them and work with eye exercises there are so many modalities I personally recommend Mirzakarim Nobekov's DVD course or course or book they are amazing 
or if you're working on some martial art techniques and you want to improve some movements and you just have some blockages somewhere, you just want to go into that one, you want to feel those feelings or whatever it is you want to improve in your life, go into that feeling and see, is it your guidance telling whether don't do it, it's not right for you or it's not good for what you have desired? then listen to it and do something else or just differentiate between guidance and stalled old trauma emotions if you want more on those details just look on my youtube channel there are videos on how to differentiate between trauma and um, guidance on that note i wish you a very beautiful week as always i love you all very much namaste